Hey, welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. I'm your host, Tatiana. In today's video, we are going to make natural deodorant. So I have my deodorant, it's about to end, it's at the very bottom. And so what I did is I took the labels off, I cleaned it off, cleaned the lid, and you can put a cloth into the pan so that when you put the Pyrex into the saucepan, it's not wiggling around and possibly breaking the Pyrex. And then you can boil off the deodorant and you can discard the deodorant or use it into a new batch. Since I already have it, I'm going to upcycle my container. You can also put your deodorant into a container like this. And you wanna use Pyrex because it'll handle the heat. You can make your own deodorant with coconut oil and you can use other types of oils like sunflower oil, jojoba oil, and you can use beeswax. And if you're vegan and don't want to use beeswax, you can use candelia, candelia, yeah, candelia wax. And this is made from a plant and it actually holds up better than the beeswax. So if you're in a warm climate, like I live in Florida, so I'm actually going to do a mixture of the beeswax and the candelia wax. Some deodorant formulas with the beeswax can melt, so if you live in a warm climate, you might wanna stick with the candelia wax. And I have zinc oxide. Some people don't like baking soda, but it is a natural deodorizer, but if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to, of course. And then you'll want some measuring cups, some little measuring spoons of a tablespoon and a teaspoon, and then a bowl or two so that you can separate the ingredients. Another thing I forgot to mention was cornstarch. You can also use arrowroot powder, but I don't have arrowroot powder, so I'm going to use cornstarch and essential oils. Just make sure that they're 100% and they are topical grade. Anyway, you can use any type of essential oil you want. You can mix them and make a different scent. It's a lot of fun making your own deodorant and if it works out for you, you know, why go to the store and buy all of that when you can store these ingredients in your own home and then anytime you need a deodorant, you can just make it. It doesn't take that long. So let's get into it. So first you're gonna wanna put some water about halfway into your saucepan. Then put it about medium heat and start warming the water. So these are some things that I found online, ouroilyhouse.com. So aluminum, which is usually found in deodorant, it actually clogs the pores and temporarily stops you from sweating. So sweating is one of the ways that we detoxify our bodies. So it's good to actually sweat. And parabens also mimic estrogen and cause hormone imbalances, dermatitis and itchiness. And then TEA and DEA can cause damage to the kidney and liver. This recipe from OurOilyHouse.com, it says to use three tablespoons of coconut oil. So I'm just gonna try and follow this recipe as close as possible and then start modifying things based on the ingredients that I have. So I'm gonna use this spatula to just make sure that I'm using an equal amount here of coconut oil. And I'm gonna just scoop it out with the silicone. There we go, we got one. Here's my second, two, okay. and three. There we go. Okay, and then it says it needs three tablespoons of baking soda. It says three tablespoons, so I'm gonna just fill up my tablespoon here of baking soda. Okay, that looks like a good amount. One, okay, two, that would, I would say is another one. Now, it says two tablespoons of shea butter. I do not have shea butter. I'm going to use sunflower oil instead of shea butter. I'm gonna do actually one tablespoon of shea butter. And then I'm gonna do 
one tablespoon of jojoba oil. Now, uh, the shea butter is a little more solidified than these oils here. So I'm just wondering if it'll hold up. So, okay, two tablespoons of arrowroot powder. So I don't have that. I'm gonna use the cornstarch. I think that's good for one tablespoon. Yeah, okay. The measurements aren't that exact, but that's okay. This is boiling. Um, so I'm gonna put this in here. There's a whisk to combine the ingredients. So I'm gonna just do a fourth cup of the wax in here. This, this wax, like that. And I'm gonna mix it in. Just make sure that this is mixing in really well. Okay, I'm gonna use the beeswax as well. Okay, so I'm mixing this and it is warm. I don't want it to be like boiling, but I do want it to be warm. That's why we're doing this like Banyu Maria thing. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. As you can see, it's not liquidy yet and we want it liquidy. Okay, this is starting to get liquidy. Okay, I'm gonna remove this from the heat now. There. Now I'm going to add the essential oils. This is tea tree oil. I'm going to add, let's see how many, one, two, three, four. I'm almost done. <laughs> oh no, it's all out. Um, I would consider more than that, but this one is organic lemongrass. I love the smell of lemongrass. So I'm going to do some drops of that. And then this relax blend, put a bunch of that in there. I'm gonna mix everything. Now I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of zinc oxide. Why should I put zinc oxide in my deodorant? Zinc oxide effectively eliminates odor causing bacteria by minimizing the growth of new bacteria. And it also says here, so that's from Style Craze and this one is Shiseido. Built on this finding, we found that zinc oxide was effective in neutralizing short chain fatty acids, hence removing odor. So I'm going to put half a teaspoon of zinc oxide into this mixture and mix. Okay, it already smells really good. Okay, this is a nice consistency here. Um, I think this will solidify well. All right, so here we go. Here's my container. And I'm going to pour it in to the top. Okay, um, so I still have some left. What I heard is, is it's like cement. Bounce it, there's gonna be air bubbles. So that's why I did that for a little bit. I'm gonna leave it for about 10 minutes before I put it into the fridge to really solidify it. Since I have more, I'm gonna put it into a different container. Okay, I'm gonna use this container for the rest. Let me see if I can top it off here. So the same goes with this, I'm going to Tap it and make sure that um, there's no air bubbles in there. So here are my deodorants. They sat in the fridge for about 20 minutes and it's already solidified and it's a pretty solid stick. I don't think this is gonna have a problem at all with the sunny weather here in Florida. And then of course this is very solidified. It's got a very smooth texture. Okay, here's my deodorant. I put it on a tank top so you can see. But um, I'm gonna put it on and it's, it's solid, just like any other deodorant that I would buy. Another thing too is I shaved today and usually with the synthetic deodorants, after I shave, it stings because I'm probably not supposed to do that, but this one doesn't sting at all very up close of my armpit, but just so you see, it's like clear. It's not gonna stain my clothes or anything. So 
I'm very excited about this DIY deodorant. So if you liked it, be sure to give a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Peace.